All right, guys, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Kree here bringing you guys another Dokkan Battle video. So, what we have here today is going to be my Monotech Legendary Goku event run, okay? Now, uh, before we begin, I want to say that initially going into this, I thought it would be a lot harder, which don't get me wrong, it was, uh, but I think that uh, since uh, the, when this event first came out on Global, which was, I think, like right around the Namek celebration in October, um, we didn't have Tech Trunks yet, and uh, without Tech Trunks, this run would not be possible. Like, there is no way you can't get through this without Tech Trunks, right? So, because uh, if we go with the team real quick, uh, we are going to be running a, a double uh, Tech Trunks for the uh, Future Saga. Uh, that's actually going to benefit a solid three of our units, uh, well, four teams through the friend. Uh, because we're going to be running uh, Tech Vegito Blue, uh, LR Go Bros, the Go Goku and Gohan card, the free to play 300 million one, and then Candy Vegito, bro. Candy Vegito is a straight up baller in this one. Okay, and I also did throw on the uh, the Easy A Father Son Galagun Vegito. Um, I felt like that he could uh, benefit, you know, pretty well because we, will, we would be running two Tech Trunkses. Uh, which would qualify for his, uh, his passive, uh, so I figured he'd be pretty solid just as a support. But uh, he does uh, take a, you, you gotta protect him a little bit, especially uh, in the later rounds. Even at uh, blue, even with type advantage, he was taking uh, some pretty bad <laughs> damages. However, uh, outside of him, uh, most of these, uh, uh, all these units will uh, stack their defense. Um, for the most part, especially what we're going to be doing here. Now, okay. Now, infinitely stack their defense. Uh, uh, that will be literally every unit on here except for the Gobros and the uh, Tech Vegeta. Uh, Trunks, uh, when he uh, transforms literally on the second turn, uh, you have to super with him because he will be boosting that defense on super attack, okay, which is uh, boosting attack and defense on super attack, which is uh, very pivotal uh, for later on. Uh, he will start to get a little bit walled by uh, Ant UI Goku, obviously, with type advantage. However, he's uh, still the most important character uh, for this to even be possible. So, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, brief over uh, every unit real quick, and we'll go ahead and go to uh, Tech Vegito Blue. Now, it's pretty obvious why we're bringing Tech Vegito Blue here. Um, side note, he does link really well with Candy Vegito. I was trying to uh, get them to run as a rotation. They both share Ovener Flash, uh, which is a solid uh, plus three key to them. And uh, outside of those two, uh, they do kind of uh, link a little bit wonky uh, throughout the uh, other units we have on this team. So I just try to keep those two together. Uh, generally, I can throw uh, Kenny Vegito in like the first slot, and, and his dodge is, is really solid. But we'll get to him later. And then uh, Vegito Blue, you obviously want to have uh, have him super attack every single time. Like you have to make that a priority. Like missing missing a super attack with uh, Vegito Blue is like one of the like most annoying things uh, that you could possibly have happen to you. He does raise his attack and defense uh, on super attack, and then his passive you can build his attack up to an additional 150 percent. So you generally can have some insane turns. Uh, where you can get up to three super attacks. Uh, mine's rainbowed, right? But I'm kind of a clown, and I put 17 into crit and six into additional, and then I threw I threw three dodge into mine because you know uh, always run the three dodge. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then wait, it's gonna wind up happening if you get him to super attack and you have a decent uh, Vegito blue luck. I mean, the dude's gonna be. I mean, he's gonna be hitting like. Four mil att uh, attacks that all uh, once you get to in in Mui Goku uh, later on in the fight, and his defense will be pr uh, solid enough to like take double digits. Uh, however, uh, if you are if you get if you play cards right, you you shouldn't have to use items really until you get uh, decently. Uh, it's I would say into the uh, STR Mui Goku fight because you uh, you have good advantage over you know three phases of the fight uh before str str ui goku and you will be able to you know raise defense for most of your units because uh every unit on here is a defense stacking unit except for the vegeta and then the gobros they don't stack their uh their defense on their super attack but i mean their passive allows them to build up insanely throughout the fight and uh, speaking of Largo Rose, uh, that is one of the other, you know, big time. I would say if, if running a monotech run through this, you would have to have uh, Largo Bros, in my opinion. 
Uh, they are very, very uh, pivotal as to damage that they can do, um, the defense they can build up, and the, uh, the just and the damage they can do. I mean, it's it's pretty disgusting what they can do uh, throughout the fight, as we all know. Well, I only have one dupe in mind. He has a. Uh, Eight critical and nine additional. Uh, so there's some turns where I can get him to have three super attacks, uh, which is very insane. When he, whenever they do that, they just bust out, you know, casual four million attack stats. <laughs> it's pretty insane. Uh, and then outside, like, okay, so the tech Vegeta, um, he, I wanted to have like some sort of support, so I did decide to throw him on. Uh, I was debating either to throw him or LR Friku on. Uh, but I decided to go with the uh, Tech Vegeta. Uh, I would imagine that LR Freak who would do, I mean, he would he would get uh, he, he would do good. I mean, solidly he'd only be getting the 120% uh, uh, lead from Trunks uh, versus the 170% that Vegeta's getting because uh, he is on the Future Saga, which is uh, another reason why I threw him on there for us to have a better better leader skill. Um, and then let's see. Okay, yeah. So we ran over. The, uh, the next unit that we have here is going to be obviously the Goku and Gohan card, a great defense stacking unit uh, that just can allow for a safe, you know, solid unit to rely on not to take, to take stupid damage at any point in the fight. And he, he links well, he's going to hit a super attack every single time, you're going to raise your defense, you'll be up to 200k defense, uh, hopefully by the time you're in, uh, in, in UI, which is solid enough to take. Uh, damage throughout uh, normals and then uh, super attacks you still got to be careful of however once again if you have your items played out correctly uh, you shouldn't have to worry about that too, too well so and then the, the next unit bro so this unit also uh, I think came like right around the time this event came out like either right before or like right after uh, but that is going to be our boy candy Vegito here so look, bro, the reason for my boy Candy of Vegito is a straight pimp out here in this event. His his passive, right? Let me just read it off for you. A great chance of evading enemies attack, bro. That's I, I'm pretty sure that's a 70% chance. Bro, we roll at 70% chance all the time, bro, and it works. Um, obviously, all the way up until uh, end in UI Goku, you think he'd fall off. However, uh, his on a super attack, he does raise his attack and defense, which is great, bro. He's so he's overall a great unit throughout the fight. Uh, you can have him super attack. Like, see, have I, I have him uh, paired up with. Uh, <laughs> there he goes, dodging. I have him paired up with Tech Vegito Blue, as I said earlier, because they they pair pretty well. They'll both get their super attack easily. They'll both raise their attack and defense, and it'll just be a great uh, win for me having them two paired up. Yo, real quick, I know y'all see how Tech Vegito Blue is coming out here, busting out these 3 million attack stats already, only at the Super Saiyan 3. Bro, I'm telling you, Tech Vegito Blue, whenever he gets going and actually starts, you know, getting supers and, like, starts being effective, dude's a straight up beast. He's so good. Uh, but getting back to the Candy Vegito that I was talking about, uh, there's also another thing that he does on his passive. He does get attack and defense 10% uh, for every tech key sphere obtained, or just uh, defense 10% per every non uh, tech key sphere obtained. So, once again, another very good defensive unit. A uh, reason why uh, Candy Vegito is on the team. Uh, actually, a real MVP of the team, might I add. He's uh, really effective in a lot of situations and uh, a free to play unit at that. And speaking of which, we also have uh, the other amazing free to play unit on here, which is the Goku and Gohan card. Um, I've tried, I literally every chance I can use them on this event, I use them. Uh, they're super useful and uh, very good. And once again, they're free to play entirely. They get, they have their own orbs and everything. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, read, uh, read, read over their passive real quick. Uh, so, uh, uh, a super attack uh, raises defense, causes supreme damage to enemy, and lowers attack. Uh, awesome. Attack and defense plus 50% at start of turn, and Goku's family category allies keep plus two attack and defense plus 30%. Uh, I don't think we have any Gokus. Oh no, yeah, Gobros. That's why another reason why they're great. Uh, running them with Gobros is awesome. And yeah, so that's basically going to cover over the basis of the team. Once again, the uh, two trunks lead is the best lead for this by far. Uh, have, being able to run tech trunks twice, let alone, is an amazing trunk card in this event. As I think, I mean, th this guy is built to run through this event uh, in tech trunks. So uh, in situations like this where I'm like, oh, wow, see, where I don't want to br uh, mess up my rotations <laughs> because I really like having those two together. Um, I was thinking about, do I, is it worth it? Do, do I trust Candy Vegito that much? Uh, then I was like, do I want Vegito? Uh, then 
I was thinking, do I want to put Trunks in the first slot just to guarantee I don't take nothing? And then I was like, nah, uh, Kenny Vegito is going to be a straight pimp and he's going to come out here and work. Uh, so we are, we are under half health. All running through as we have the uh, Trunks and Vegito get the super. Uh, Kenny Vegito takes 42k. What are you for? What are you for? This is why you bring him, bro. Dodge the super. Dodge the super. Dodger, no, 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 no. See, that was uh, definitely game saving right there, having him dodge. Uh, that super attack and all of these attacks as if not we would have died for sure uh it's the tech vegeto blue uh, 2.7 uh attack stats uh doing solid damage uh whenever he does these additional normals he does not raise his attack and defense uh so that's kind of annoying i mean and so he's only taken uh just under 9k now a uh, tech trunks is an also straight pimp as he's busting out his two million attack stat i'll go ahead and get uh go over the items that we've been using uh, throughout the run we haven't used any yet uh but those items are going to be the ghost usher the android 8 the weiss and the princess snake pretty standard items for uh big time runs like this super battle road uh runs a big in-game uh content type of items that you are going to want to use for sure uh, and then we're going to get something clutch here, getting the uh, nice solid Doken attack with the uh, free heal, uh, which will be awesome running the Tech Trunks. Uh, I wanted, I was debating on what I, who I wanted to give it to, and then I was like, you know what, I'll just give it to my boy Tech Trunks. Alright, see, luckily for us, we uh, didn't miss anything in a perfect Doken mode here. Uh, real quick, I want to go over like other units that like, could could work, like if like if you were trying to run this and you don't like have um, like all these exact units of some characters you could run. Uh, LR Freeku, uh, they work well. Uh, they could uh, link well with uh, most of the units on here, so uh, you could definitely run LR Freeku. Um, LR uh, Threeku though, uh, Super Saiyan Three Goku, I would not recommend bringing him in, even with his uh, just uh, going for his 12 key and uh, riding the defense. Um, he will still get absolutely train wrecked uh, towards the end of the fight, even before uh, Int uh, MUI Goku. So I would definitely not recommend bringing him. Uh, Super Saiyan Four Gogeta, no. He, he'll, he's going to take too much damage uh, at the end for sure. Uh, and I would just not recommend uh, bringing him. I mean, he the dodges of the supers could help up until in MUI, but uh, I, I would not uh, recommend it. And then, okay, Transforming Frieza, I would not recommend bringing him. Uh, Transforming Frieza, I mean, is, it does give himself defense until like his last transformation when he's a uh, Golden Frieza. And that's going to happen, uh, you know, like five turns into the fight. And he doesn't get any sort of defense buff on his passive or raise any defense on his uh, super at that point. Um, and so he's not going to be that good defensively. Uh, Tech Golden Frieza. Tech Golden Frieza would be a absolute monster in here. And would be a great uh, unit for sure. If you are trying to attempt this, uh, LR Goku Black. No way, Jose. Um, I feel like uh, this event kind of shows how uh, shows their age, as uh, they don't have, they also don't give themselves any sort of uh, defense in their passive, and that's not going to cut it at all in the uh, <laughs> int MUI phase. So no way would I recommend bringing them. Okay, so obviously uh, for five year the Vegito Blue, um, if you have him, I mean I would imagine the dude's going to be a complete uh, powerhouse for the most part um, after he transforms. Uh, but I have not uh, ran it through yet on my JP account on the uh, Goku event. This was done on my, glo uh, my global, obviously, because my global box is way better than my uh, my JP box. And then the uh, Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Power Goku, uh, Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. No, don't bring him. He's gonna take too much damage. And then the uh, the newer Super Saiyan 2 uh, Vegeta that transforms into Majin Vegeta. I don't have him. Obviously, he's not on global, and I, and I have not pulled on his banners uh, on JP. So I don't have him, so I also can't give my opinion on him. However, I mean, I would imagine that he would be a pretty, uh, pretty decent for, uh, for the most part. Uh, but yeah, so we're running through it uh, relatively fast. But as you can see, we are only not e we're not even at the halfway point, but we're already at Blue Goku. Uh, that's because we're gonna get absolutely Stonewall Jackson uh, by Int MUI Goku. Obviously, since we're running a mono um, Int. Uh, but like, I mean, against the AGL phases, which is the uh, Super Saiyan 1, uh, Super Saiyan 3, and then Super Saiyan Blue, um, that really helps uh, speed through those stages uh, for sure. And obviously, uh, Tech Trunks here is a, a big crucial part in that. Rotations like this, where I we get like this, the three highest damage uh, dealing LR, or not LRs, uh, cards like on the team, uh, is really nice. It's also feel like a real safe turn as a go on and go to and uh, put on a solid 3 mil attack stat uh, casually. Um, and then this one, Tech Trunks comes in here, putting it to 1.8, uh, real solid. Um, as we are still, uh, have we used an item yet? Um, I don't, I don't know. I think I do a pretty decent job 
of saving all of my items for uh, at least some of them for this part. Uh, this is where I knew I was going to start to get real hairy. And I know, oh yeah, this this type of rotation, I was really pissed off because uh, this is obviously a rotation where, yeah, I'm going to use an item, I'm going to use a princess snake because I didn't want, uh, I didn't want to mess up my rotations, A, and then uh, that tech, Vegeta, I was really worried about him, uh, really worried about him taking a lot of damage over there. That's why I pondered uh, so much, but I'm pretty sure I do use the item here. Um, I know uh, for sure I was pondering. I was doing a little bit of other stuff here while doing it. Um, I was making some food in the middle of this, so um, part of me uh, was like would like walk away. But like uh, overall, the decision making, I did decide to throw a candy Vegeta off rotation. Yeah, that's the, that's just how nervous I was of having uh, the support tech Vegeta uh, be in place of him right there and uh, maybe take a little too much damage on the back half because uh, having candy Vegeta over there, as we stated, is uh, very important. But uh, now, see. Uh, we're now at where they can dodge, uh, or not they, just the uh, Goku. And uh, this is where stuff. Look, look. <laughs> Additional only did 130, but look, Vegito Blue coming with a three mil attack stat, and we are gonna hit a nice solid critical hit, and then stuff like this, where you get the back-to-back -back supers. I know uh, Goku goes on a spree here when he does start to like dodge like three of Vegito, Vegito super attacks in a row, but like turns like that. Where you buzzed out three super attacks and one, uh, one at least one of them is a crit. We're taking. Uh, well, we have Princess Snake active, but you come in there and you do that amount of damage. That's why. That's when you get Tech Vegito Blue really going. That's what he can do for you. And then, uh, yeah, we have Candy Vegito over here dodging. Uh, I don't even think the Princess Snake would have been that bad, uh, considering uh, Candy Vegito literally dodge all of their attacks. So in situations like this. Um, um, I, I sometimes debate throwing off the Gohan and Goten off rotation, but then um, at, at this point in the fight, they are already like fully built up and ready to go. Uh, so I, I don't like regret it too much. I just want to make sure that um, I at least get everyone a super attack. Um, and mainly being uh, the, Gohan, the Gohan and Goku card, uh, because they'll have the, the most trouble, and that's not even that most. Um, on rotations like this, where Trunk is, uh, Trunks is there, because Gohan and Goten are already built up, and they can almost float. Um, but uh, see, we're taking double, yeah, we're still, we're, still, we're taking double digits here with the Gohan and Go, uh, Gohan and Goku card, which is very nice. And the Tech Trunks coming here, busting up the two point uh, three uh, mil attack stats. Still not having a uh, UI Goku dodge uh, an attack yet. And then uh, yeah, 130 k uh, from uh, STR uh, UI Goku. Uh, still more defense stacking needs to be done. Three point nine mil attack stat coming in from the LR GoBros. Big time stuff. Um, you, obviously, uh, mine only has the one dupe, um, as I said earlier, but when they can do stuff like this, where they bust out, you know, multiple super attacks, and you get some of those to crit, uh, yeah, that's when, <laughs> that's really, uh, awesome. Um, especially since he's a tech type, he is gonna be able to, uh, hit the 20 crit, and then whenever, uh, uh the five year anniversary, you guys come to come to Global, we'll, we, we will be able to have equipment, and then, you know, if you want to throw on, you know, even more, a crit or a, more additionals. I think uh, for that unit you do want to spread out the uh, additionals. Um, I know. I think mine. I actually am running the uh, the nine crit and then this. Uh, yeah, it would be either the nine crit and the six additional, and then I think no, I don't even think I have the do have them dodge because I want yeah because I only have the one dupe in them. Uh, but look, as you can see, uh, <laughs> Tech Vegito is at uh, a, a million uh, before even getting orbs. And while I am going to pop an Android 8 here, uh, that is pretty, uh, well, was I that nervous about Vegito getting it, getting super? Yeah, oh, because I didn't, see, I, rotations like that where I'm not able to super with him are really, really painful. They suck. Uh, because I said earlier in the video, you know, you want him to get supers, uh, most importantly of all. Um, even... Uh, even if you do miss a super, I mean the the two additional, they have a chance, but you know, you need to at least get one per turn, uh, especially whenever like you know they can dodge, which is no fun. And then, yeah, see that three three no uh, attacks, no supers, yeah, bad bad turn. Although we're at least not gonna take any damage because we have the Android eight up, uh, which is uh, very handy. As you can see, we're making pretty good use of our items here, uh, able to save them through the end as. Uh, we are at full health, uh, uh, SCR UI Goku, I think, well, actually, might be able to, uh, might live this turn. Uh, I can't remember for sure, and then I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna throw Candy Vegito all the way on the right. Uh, I know, 
I sometimes do get a little bit nervous. I think, see, like, Trunks is like the security blanket, right? Like, if I, wherever I put Trunks, uh, you know he's not going to take any damage, uh, which is 400k defense, uh, not even getting any key on the rotation yet. Yeah, dude, it's freaking disgusting. So, yeah, okay, I did throw Trunks over there. I didn't want to take any chances. And then, I'll, even rotation like this, uh, the Goku Gohan card, they would only take double digits from normals. Uh, Kenny Vegito dodges. And, I mean, I've gone over uh, mostly everything I really wanted to talk about. I guess, like, other things we could talk about is, oh, ooh, 160k, yeah, oof. Um, other, th like, I think, um, this typing, it, like, you could argue this is the hardest, but I, I feel like STR, um, is really difficult because, um, STR, after the first phase, you don't have any type of advantage, and look at freaking STR, you got Goku dodging Trunks' as a super attack like that. What a freaking dirty bastard. But anyways, yeah, STR type doesn't have a single, uh, any, like, advantage, uh, type advantage after the very first phase. And there's not nearly as many good defense stackers, uh, STR types as there is, like, tech types. I mean, tech types, too. I mean, we, we have some monster, monster tech types, for sure. Um, <laughs> being, uh, especially right here, because we in full showcase. And this active skill right here comes in clutch, bro. Too many times do uh, you get in, a, in like a good run on like maybe Super Battle Road uh, here, different Dragon Ball history, where they live with like a sliver of HP, and then on the next turn they first they, they attack you in the very first slot before you can super attack or do anything, and they super you, and that is no fun at all, <laughs> like at all. So. Uh, that's why active skills are really nice. It's literally free damage. They can't dodge it, which is very awesome. I didn't want to use them in, in my Goku, obviously, because I feel like that would not be uh, the best, because you know it wouldn't be that much damage. And then we are gonna pop the Ghost Usher here. Um, funny enough, I didn't. Uh, basically, my plan was is that I didn't want to take any risk on that Vegeta at all. So even having a uh, you know, a, well, okay, yeah. At this point, uh, Candy Vegeta couldn't even dodge. So there was like, I was like, yeah, there's no way I want to take any chances. So. Uh, yeah, the first Ghost Usher does go out, and then I was able to save some key there for Trunks, because at this point, Trunks is going to be amazing healing. Like, he's going to be, like, the best source of healing on the team. Uh, better than Gohan and Goten, uh, obviously better than uh, the Goku and Gohan card, uh, which is really nice. And look at that, dude. The, these, <laughs> it's through the roof. Well, look, like, look, look at the defense. He's at 300k defense just chilling and that's mine i think my uh okay yeah, yeah my global my global one does have a dupe in him which is nice uh right here i was debating if i do i want to give him uh the four and and then uh have vegeto not super but you know even with the four we still get a lot of health and even vegeto start uh, his defense is finally starting to get up there after a few solid uh super attacks uh turns i mean we've had a pretty good uh vegeto rng in this uh this event for sure he didn't uh sgr uh goku did not dodge any uh, of his super attacks, uh, we were able to get a few uh, three turn uh, super attacks in there, which is nice with a four million attacks. That's uh, doing crazy stuff here. Uh, now, you know, we are gonna have Int MUI Goku coming here and a uh, super trunks, uh, which is uh, no fun here if you take a swapping 200k. Uh, Vegito had a 3.2 mil attack stat. Uh, UI Goku, I, I, I know for a fact UI Goku is gonna start dodging some of his super attacks in here. I remember he dodged a solid amount like in a row. Uh, there's the first one. Do I go for the third? No, I'll get another no super attack. I think on the next one, he really dodges. And as you can see, our health is uh, kind of low there. Even on a pretty safe rotation like this, uh, the super attacks is just a pain in the rear end. And as you can see, Vegito took 44k, bro. I was like, oh my god. Living on an edge, bro. 44k from, the nor from a normal. Crazy. Uh, luckily, though, uh, te Tech Trunks does not get supered in the last slot. And so it, the double digits is going to be... Uh, smooth sailing and we are able to get out of there with 31k HP, uh, HP. and I know damn well I'm finna use an item I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use my last uh, Android 8 or do I use a ghost usher to stall did I do that because I know I use a ghost usher uh, at some point to stall for sure um, yeah see I knew it bro I was pretty sure that I did this just to get a free turn and not even worry about anything uh, cause I wanted to have, cause whenever Tech Vegeta's on rotation at this point, you really do have to worry about hiding him. Uh, at least from my experience. Uh, once again, you know, you could replace him from, uh, LR Freaku if you wanted to. Uh, LR Freaku would, uh, fit, uh, pretty nicely. He has pretty good key links, uh, with everyone on the team. 
And he is pretty good key links overall, even though nobody on here is in the uh, has a terminal power link, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, I mean, we're our team is uh, making the most of it for having only one LR, but there's just not other, uh, not that many other uh, good LR options. I mean, we already went over why three Q would be um, three Q would just get slapped uh, towards the uh, upper uh, after STR Goku or even. After blue Goku and uh, against STR UI Goku, he was starting really getting slapped, period. Uh, going and Goten is able to at least uh, wall pretty solidly, uh, even against Int MUI, which is uh, awesome. I, if we didn't have him, uh, I don't know what uh, what we would have put that for that uh, last slot. I feel like he's a main reason we were able to beat this, uh, for sure. Oh yeah, at this point, dude, I'm not taking any chances. I am going to start to spam my items here. Oh, that is why I was so greedy with them early on in the fight is because, you know, I obviously did not want uh, to have to worry about this once I got to here because it's going to be the hardest stage. And then so there were some times where I was like debating uh, who I wanted to uh, feed like the tech key spheres to. As you can see, uh, Vegito is at 220k defense, uh, which is really nice. But I wanted to, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I wanted to wait for uh, the other trunks to get back on rotation uh, so I could get even more HP. Uh, but I mean, Tech Vegito at this point, his uh, attack is really solidly built up as uh, Ant Uma Goku dodges Trunks' super attack again, uh, which is no fun. But he's gonna let Candy Vegito hit him for a solid, I wanna say, nothing, like 100k maybe. Uh, oh, my bad. No, no crit, so yeah, only 127. But you know, we only took, uh, oh, we have an uh, Android 8 up, 2.8 uh, or 2.79. Some people don't like rounding as he dodges it. Yep, yep. I'll go into plan. He's gonna dodge this one too. Uh, psych my boy, no way, you're not gonna get any touches, and then he's gonna let the, uh, no, no he's not even gonna feed, uh, feed him a normal, completely dodged a uh, Tech Vegito, uh, entirely on that turn, which is, uh, the big sad that feels bad, um, I, that is really bad because I can't, uh, spam items forever, and that was, uh, really bad because I, that was two supers I missed out on damage-wise, uh, which is obviously not good, um, and then in turns like, th turns like this, bro, I feel pretty confident, uh, that Tech Trunks is going to be able to get all that key heal us up a pretty decent amount. Uh, that's about 50k worth of healing. And then Trunks and Goten, or not Trunks and Goten, Gohan and Goten are going to be able to get their 18 key, which is big time. Oh, so I totally forgot about another uh, character that could actually be very useful on a Super Tech team. I don't know how I forgot about her, uh, but Tech Khalifla. See, a lot of people uh, would uh, think that like Tech Khalifla would be bad here because once you know you get to Int MUI Goku, uh, she's gonna do like you know she's gonna get like hit really badly well <clears throat> she is gonna be able to dodge everything up until that phase and she does uh, raise her defense on super attack uh, so like at that point like she she won't be like terrible she'll be like worth she, she look at her like a better candy Vegito almost uh, basically uh, but like I don't have her uh, so I, you know I just put candy Vegito in there and candy Vegito works well anyways but I, I don't know how I forgot about uh, Tech Khalifa Tech Khalifa in here would be Oh, really solid uh, for sure. Uh, so we're having rotations like this uh, where uh, I, I've already uh, messed up the Vegito and Candy Vegito rotation. So I kind of look at it like this, like, well, uh, yeah, I'm going to use a Whis big time because uh, uh, with Candy Vegito out there uh, struggling and then uh, the Tech Vegeta, uh, I do not want to have any risk of them taking uh, major, major damage. Uh, even with a Whis active, uh, you're going to see that this uh, Tech Vegeta is going to take a lot. He just doesn't... His, he just doesn't have that much defense uh, like every other unit on this team does. Uh, well, yeah. Every unit on this team gets uh, defense on Super Attack except for him. Uh, which is uh, very, very risky to run him, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, but it is what it is. He does give key to uh, the rota uh, rotation, though, since we have two trunks, uh, which is uh, very nice. Uh, but, you know, even now, oh, we have to have the trunks. Basically, we have to have any unit crit if we want to get actual damage. Uh, otherwise, we're not gonna be able to uh, item, item out item this guy. Uh, but look, 29k with a Whis active, bro. Like God, that's a, like that's a lot. That's 40% damage reduction. And then he dodges Candy Vegeta's uh, super attack. Oh man, what a what a turd. All right, so uh, rotations like this, you already know. We're gonna go ahead and throw the trunks over there. Debating on how ba uh, how I'm gonna get a uh, key uh, key. Debating on how I'm going to get a super attack with our boy uh, Tech Vegito Blue. Uh, luckily, we did get the key to fall how I wanted to. Taking no risk, get the one uh, AGL sphere over there. And uh, but, but Tech Vegito Blue is almost at a one mil attack stat before getting any sort of key. Uh, we are going to give Trunks the Doken mode again, but we are going to get freaking super attacked. 
uh, right off uh, of the back. But we do have the Wii, so it doesn't even uh, really matter that much. Only 82k, and we are going to get the Doken uh, attack off, which would be great. So we will be able to heal. Uh, but yeah, so out of all the types, uh, I would think that, like, uh, okay, so a lot of people think Mono Fizz would be pretty uh, pretty strong, but I really do think that the STR phase is a real pain in the rear, uh, like, I don't want to say more than the MUI phase, but, I mean, he's a pain in the butt, like, nonetheless. Uh, obviously, for that, you would have to run, uh, Gogeta, uh, for sure. Uh, I mean, I mean, pretty say, man, would be pretty good, too. Uh, I, I don't know, I'd have to sit down there. MVP 17 would be a must, uh, for sure. Uh, but, we know, uh, look at MUI Goku dodging, bro. Look at him, one turn. Uh, it, does he still dodge, uh, Vegeta, Vegeta's attack here? Uh, no, he, we're gonna connect. Yeah, get right, noob. Crit, big time. Big time crits, bro. We need to tech Vegito Blue to, to be a big time player here with these crits. Uh, if we are going to be able to chomp down at him, boom. Double back to back super crit. That's very, very important. That's like over 3.6 mil health gone in one turn by one unit. Those two super attacks were so big, in fact, it almost, I don't want to say basically guaranteed us the win, uh, but it made, it put us into such a much better position to where I have two. Uh, items left one uh, both uh, giving us some damage reduction and one being able to heal us uh, which is a uh, very important where we're gonna be we're gonna get at least three solid turns of damage reduction and we only have a, a bar and a half left of health uh, we're having to before we win um, so just a few more literally like three or four more super attacks with crits uh, we are gonna be able to uh, take this guy down uh, Trunks unfortunately doesn't give it to us and uh, I'm not gonna lie uh, the additionals I get with uh, Trunks is not really that much um, with the even with a friend one uh, obviously mine is only a one uh, well you know this is not my JP this is my global where I do have a dupe in him what a what a turd even still that I'm not having any luck going to go 10 uh, no no crit uh, dodges the additional what a little turd uh, well, we do have damage reduction up, so I'm not even really, I'm really not even tripping, uh, because we do have the ability, uh, just the sheer amount of items on our side, the damage reduction on our side, and the health on our side, which, which, I'm telling you, Tech Vegito Blue, um, is like, I want to say, I don't want to say like he's your most important damage dealer, uh, but he's definitely your top two mo uh, most important damage dealer in this fight for sure. Especially whenever he does start doing multiple additionals and he starts critting, um, he's going to be doing some massive damage. Uh, that 3.6 mil uh, health in one turn is uh, was so crucial in the putting us in this, into this situation. It made up for some of the anti crits we didn't get from the other units uh, earlier in the fight. I mean, in, in, in MUI Goku himself is uh, a long fight, uh, especially running with all tech units. Uh, yeah, it's it's really slow. Obviously, our Goku and Go on card they don't know they're not gonna, they're not here to hit anything uh, at this point. They're just here to not to not to take damage. Uh, we have our few damage dealers in trunks. Go on and go ten. And obviously, Tech Vegito Blue, and then uh, Kenny Vegito is still doing pretty solid, just not taking damage. Um, and then a turn like this, bro, I was like, all right, no, not son. We're we're gonna make sure that we win. I I'm gonna pop. I know for a fact that I pop my uh my Princess Snake here. I'm like, I'm taking no chances. Nah, this is the turn that we're gonna go win it, right? Look at all the look at all the key we got on the field. I'm thinking, okay, well if we can, I, I don't I don't want to risk anything, so I'm gonna pop the Princess Snake and throw Trunks. I I think I keep Trunks in the first slot here just to almost get, say guarantee the win and just make sure I don't take anything. I I did almost screw up there, and then if, and if I would have gotten that, oh, just the four key spheres, uh, these SDR spheres would not have fallen. Uh, and Tech Vegeta Blue would not have gotten any any super attack. Um, I don't even think uh, Tech Vegeta. I'm not even worried about Tech Vegeta at the back half because um, I I really don't, at this point was like there's no way he can live through this as long as he doesn't dodge my super attacks. Uh, Tech Trunks hits him with a three three a uh, three point three mil attack stat. Uh, no crit, uh, but we're inching inching closer to to finally taking this dude down. Uh, Vegeta with a five mil attack stat. No crit. Six hundred thirty two k. Um, and that is the run. No, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that run was uh, pretty, pretty hard, uh, but it, I think it is a little bit easier uh, now than when it first came out. Uh, Tech Vegito Blue, Candy Vegito, Tech Trunks, and the Go Goku and Gohan card is really nice. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Kree, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.